So I received this really, really brilliant question recently um, from one of my clients. And we were, we were working on what, what I was calling bringing the full force of her creative magic into how she manages money. And she's told me that, she's heard me use that phrase before that we've worked on bringing the full force of your creative magic into, into other parts of her lives. And she wasn't entirely sure what I meant by that. And could I explain? And I realized that if she doesn't know, because she's someone who works with me one-on-one, -on -one, who's taken lots of classes with me, she's in my advanced practice group, if she doesn't know, no one knows. <laughs> if she doesn't already know, it means that I haven't really fully explained that. So I'm going to take this opportunity to fully explain that. Because actually, um, bringing the full force of your creative magic into um, every part of your life, that's what all of my work is about. There's really... Um, there's nothing more <laughs> uh, that, that I do. I just have all sorts of different techniques and ways of, of doing that, but that's what it always is. And I chose the words creative magic very carefully, starting with creative because human beings are inherently creative. And I mean in many, many, many different ways, right? Like we can create um, art and, and, and music and, and all of the things that, that we think of as the, the, the creative arts, but we also created um, cities and cultures and the way our society runs, everything about the way our lives function is something that, that we created. Here on the world, different cultures have evolved in different ways and so different cultures have, have different ideas of, about these things and they're all just different things that we have created because we are just so inherently creative. Right? There's this amazing, amazing variety in, in all of the ways that, that we have created our, our world as human beings. And then the other part, the word magic. So the work that I do, I help people bring their dreams to life and, and live their dreams and do the things that they want to be doing. So a lot of other people who are doing that kind of, of work uh, talk about the law of attraction. And you may have noticed that I've never I never say that. I actually think it's kind of um, cheesy and embarrassing even though I am um, accredited and I've been trained as, as, as a teacher in, in a school of thought that, that uses that. So the law of attraction is a spiritual law. There are other spiritual laws. It's not the only one. It's not the most important one. Um, they're just sort of ways that the universe works. And they're similar to physical laws like the law of gravity. Right? You don't have to invoke the law of gravity to stay on the planet every morning and it's not like if you fly off the planet it's because you didn't do um, a good enough job in invoking the law of gravity. It's it's just there and the spiritual laws are just there. And so, so I don't think you need to focus um, externally in that way. Infinite creative potential is what you are. So, and, and, and I mean that infinite very, very, very seriously and Literally, there's nothing that would stop you from doing anything. You are infinite creative potential and you have infinite creative potential. And when you focus on getting in touch with that part of you, the way that you can create shifts and changes in your life looks like magic and feels like magic. And so that's why I use the word magic. Even though it's not magic, it's it's following the natural, the natural laws and orders of, of the universe. But it seems like magic because hardly anyone is doing it. Hardly anyone is really truly connected to their own infinite creative potential. And so hardly anyone is expressing that in their lives. And so we've decided that, that it's normal to live these much, much smaller lives than what we're truly actually capable of. And not just smaller, but less happy and, and less less fulfilling and it's the fulfilling part that, that really really matters to me. And so when I talk about creative dreams, those dreams are, are calling to you from your heart and from your soul. And each dream you have is important, it's necessary, and it's an expression of your purpose. So these dreams are not coming just just randomly and it's not that you're selfish or greedy for wanting to do these things. These, This is what your purpose is asking 
for you to do. This is what you're here to do. We're not here to just get by, you know? We're here to do amazing things. We are infinite creative potential. So your creative magic is also your divinity, your connection to spirit. Um, I like to use creative magic rather than any kind of um, spiritual or religious term just so that it doesn't um, conflict with what anyone already believes and so that it doesn't leave anyone out. So if you're a human, you have and you are infinite creative potential. There is creative magic in you. So all of the reasons that you have for not going after the big dreams and all of the obstacles that are keeping you from making the changes that you want to make, all of that stuff is way, 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 way smaller than your infinite creative potential or your creative magic. When you access your creative magic and get it going, it can deal with all of that. And, and we get stuck when we see the things that are in the way and decide, oh no, I can't do it. And you, you're looking at that instead of looking within and remembering, I am infinite creative potential. I have infinite creative potential. I can do this. Another aspect of creative dreams, because they're linked to your purpose, you only have the dreams, you only desire to create something that you already have the ability to create. So you already have everything you need within you to make something happen by the time that you have the idea or the desire. When you start by turning inwards and by connecting with your creative magic, which already has all the answers, already has all the tools, already has all the little paths and shortcuts and everything you need to get to where you want to be. So in my classes, in my coaching, in my advanced practice group, what the focus is on in all of my work is in creating opportunities for you to get in touch with your creative magic and let it start to flow. Once you get in touch with it, things start to change. And, and it's like, that's another place where, where people stop because they don't know where to start. They don't know the right way to start. If they have all of these dreams, they're not sure um, which, which one to go for first. But, but you don't have to know. Your creative magic already knows and that your infinite creative potential already has all the ways to make this all happen way easier than you could ever imagine. It's all already there. And so once again, if you're just looking at, I don't know which one to go first, I don't know which direction to go in, again, if you just stop, turn within, go to your creative magic, the way will be created. And it's probably not a way that you can think of from where you are right now. So where we are when we're kind of in our, in our smallness, when we're disconnected from our creative magic, we can't see what's actually possible when we are connected to our creative magic. I have visualizations that I do with, with my clients and I get them to sort of really fill up on their creative magic, get in, get in touch with it. And then I ask them, how tall are they? And it usually seems like a strange question, but for almost everyone, they're a lot taller. It could be twice as tall. Sometimes I'm five times taller when, when, when I do that, when I'm really in, in my magic. And so um, when you're taller, even a little taller, even if you just like stand up a little taller, you can see more. You can see differently. And the, the taller you are, the more differently you can see. And so the more possibilities that come up. Just, you just can't see all the possibilities that are in front of you unless you're truly connected to your creative magic. So that's the core, that's the core, that's the key. Everyone has it in them, you have it in you. Everyone, everyone has it in them. But when things aren't going the way you wish they would be going outside in your life, the fastest, most profound, most powerful, most easy, most fun way to change that is to go inside is to start looking for more of your creative magic. And it's not like it's on or off, there are degrees of it. And so you can always just turn up the volume a little bit. And if this sounds scary, you just turn up a tiny little bit, a tiny little bit, and just keep taking small, small, small baby steps. Right, you don't have to just dive in all of the way. But when you want things to change on the outside, what you, what you need to do is to go inside. Connect with that creative magic, because all the answers are there. All the possibility in the world is there. You are amazing. You are infinite creative potential. Just think about, about that and what that means and how that feels. And 
what it means for you, what would change for you if you knew that every day, if you reminded yourself every day that your infinite creative potential, that you did the work every day to connect with your creative magic. What changes, what becomes possible? You're amazing. You can do anything. So getting back to the original question we were talking about, what do I mean when I say bringing the full force of your creative magic into how you do money? So it means taking that infinite creative potential and letting everything you do with money come from that place. You know, I imagine it like letting that part of me be in charge. So how would she spend? How would she earn? How would she save? What is her relationship with money? What are the qualities that fill that relationship and how do those qualities impact how she saves and spends and earns? How can you kind of make money happen by magic? How would you do money differently when you're coming from that unlimited and infinite perspective? How do your priorities change? Because the you who's kind of small and has obstacles and, and is unsure and is afraid and wants to feel safe, that you makes very, very different choices than the you who is connected to spirit, to source, who's big and wise and just full of, of joy and fulfillment and creativity and is here with a purpose, with a clear, strong purpose and is here to accomplish that purpose, to make that happen and is here, doesn't have limits, doesn't have anything in the way, it's just here to do amazing things. So how that person approaches money in a totally different way than the small person who can't quite see her way to get what she wants. Or the medium person who can kind of see it but isn't totally sure. Or just the, the, the person who's, who's struggling, who's just struggling in the moment. So it's not just about money, you know, I talk about bringing the full force of your creative magic into whatever it is, your health, your career, your relationships, your lifestyle, whatever. Um, it's what changes when you come at it from that unlimited, amazing perspective where you already have everything you need to do anything you want. There's just this this whoosh and this opening that happens when, when, you, when you can do that, when you can really connect with that part of you and then see how that part of you would handle this part of your life. So you shift everything about how you approach something when you approach it with the full force of your creative magic. That's the actual, the action step that you take to move into that place where everything is possible. So that's the most important thing. That's the core of everything I do. That's the aim in um, pretty much all of my classes, especially the Creative Dream Incubator and um, Creative Journal Magic. Um, all of my coaching is to help you access that creative magic so that you can bring the full force of your creative magic to whatever you're creating so that um, so it's not like you're small and the thing you want to do is big. You know how that feels sometimes when your dream is so big. Um, it helps you to get bigger so that you become the person who knows how to do this and you become the person who's already done it. You become the person who has the solutions and the resources and the ideas and the energy and everything that is needed to make it happen. You already are that person. You already have those resources. You have vast, vast, vast inner resources. You are connected to the entire universe. And so bringing the full force of your creative magic into different parts of your life or eventually, hopefully, all parts of your life the aim is to take that from some kind of philosophical idea or spiritual idea and to make it tangible and real, to make it how you live. Because that's where the magic happens, that's where change happens. That's where you can be who you really are. When you bring the full force of your creative magic into how you're living your life, everything changes and everything you want becomes 